In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Disable Groups for the Intellinite 5820XL. It's a Silent Night, which is by Honeywell, the model Intellinite 5820XL, it's a mouthful. But Intellinite 5820XL, and then on here, Intellinite 5820XL. So we're gonna just do the disable groups so we can disable the audible visual circuit. And a lot of times these panels are all tied in on one group, so you just disable the group and it disables all the audible circuit for you. So sometimes you'll have a uh, key. So you see me come at this angle, which uh, means which if, if it's enabled, you don't have to put in the password every single time, which is super nice, this one does. But we're gonna do it with it disabled so we have to put in the password so I can show you that process. Uh, so you're just going to hit the enter acknowledge. It's going to say enter access code. So it's going to be all ones. So we're going to hit one, 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 one. And now we're in. So four ones, four number ones. All right. So we have our options. We have system tests. I'm just going to scroll. Point functions, event history, set time and date, printer option. Reset items, program menu, system info, up, download, exit menu. And that's it. So we're going to scroll back up because I don't need any of those. We're going to do number two, which is point functions. So you can either scroll down and hit the enter to select your option, or you can just hit the number two. I'm just going to hit the number two. Now we have our second menu, point functions menu. We have disable, enable point, point status. Set SLC device address, SLC device locator, SLC multi-locator, IO point control, exit menu. Again, we don't need any of those. We're just gonna do the very first option, disable enable point. So that's number one. Now we're in the disable enable options. We have number one, disable NAX by template, enable NAX by template, disable NAX by group, enable NAX by group, disable zone points, Enable zone points. Disable, enable point, exit menu. So again, we don't need all these options. We're just gonna do number three, which is disable NAX by group. So we're gonna hit number three. And now, oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes the very first group is our NAC group. So I already know because I've disabled this group before, um, it, it is the correct one. So it's already set to 001 automatically, group one. All I'm gonna do is hit the enter acknowledge. I get a system trouble, so I'm just going to silence that system trouble so it doesn't beep at me. And then I'm gonna hit the back menu now. And I'm gonna scroll back, scroll back, scroll back, out of the menu, out of the menu, all the way to start. Now I have 31 troubles. So if I hit the up and down arrows, I can scroll through those troubles. So we have all of our notifications uh, disabled. So trouble notification, circuit one, two, three, four, uh, power supply five circuits. We have power supply four circuits. Power supply three circuits. Power supply seven. Power supply two. Power supply one. Module uh, notification circuits. So all our circuits. And I could scroll back. I could be back at our uh, our menu here. So now all of these circuits are disabled for our audible visual circuit. So now if we want to do alarm testing, we can test smoke detectors, pulsations, heat detectors, anything like that. And the horn strobes will not go off in the building. So now we can put the system back and we'll do a uh, the setup process for that. So let's say we're all done, uh, systems reset. So we have no alarms on the panel. Now we're gonna hit that enter button again. It's gonna ask for that password. It's gonna be the four ones. But what we'll do instead this time, since we did that the first time, we're gonna actually use this key now. So I'm gonna turn the key. So now, you can see it's turned. Now the panel's enabled. So I don't have to put in the password now. So I just hit enter, and it automatically brings up the menu. So if I didn't have this activated, I would have to put in the four ones to access the menu. But since they have a key here, I have it active, now I don't need to put in the password. So we'll follow the exact same process. We don't need to go through each menu function. We already know it's gonna be number two 
point functions. So I'm gonna hit the number two. And then we want the disable and enable point, so I'm gonna hit number one. And this time, instead of number three, which was disabled NAX by group, we're not disabling this time. We're gonna scroll down to number four and we see enable NAX by groups. It says EN, that's short for enable, just like DIS is short for disable. So enable NAX by group. So we're gonna hit number four. And we know from when we disabled that it was group one that disabled all of our uh, audible visual circuits. So it's already on group one because it always starts on group one. So all we're gonna do is hit enter acknowledge. And you'll see that these troubles that came in when I disabled will now clear because I'm enabling. So hit enter. So my trouble lights went away. So I'm gonna hit the uh, back button to get out of the menu. Go all the way back to start. So now I'm back to normal status. So all systems normal. And you see my, oh, there we go, focus. You see my trouble lights are gone. So now if I were to test any alarm devices like smoke detectors, heat detectors, anything, the audio visual circuit will activate. So hordes and strobes will go off. And that is how you disable and enable groups on the IntelliNight 5820XL, which again was the Silent Night by Honeywell, Intel and I, 5820XL, it's a mouthful. Anyway, that's how you operate the group functions for this fire panel.